Playing street hockey and it's fun just to interact with the kids and and see them excited about being a night for a day. Yeah, I mean, you grew up in Florida. Uh, obviously, the team going down there uh, kind of got you into hockey. How mm -hmm. cool is it? Got here in Vegas. You guys do this kind of stuff, getting kids into hockey. Yeah, probably not your traditional hockey market, but yeah, I mean, when I, there was a pro team in Orlando and that got me into it, and so yeah, I'm sure there's going to be kids here in the future that are playing playing hockey, hopefully playing in the NHL, and that's going to be because the Knights came here. Like, I asked Kerry this, and a lot of times, it seems like you guys almost get more out of it than, like, the kids do. You know what I mean? Like, seeing yeah. the kids smile and whatnot, you yeah. kind of fall into that category? No, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they're having a good time, but just to see the smile on their faces and, and uh, the adversity that maybe they faced and just the way they handle it, and they're still having a good time and a smile on their face. So puts life in perspective, and, and uh, there's, there's more to life than just hockey. One of the cool, uh, like, benefits of being a pro, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool to be able to give back, and it seems like that's what that's what hockey guys do a good job of. So it's it's nice to be to be a part of this event, special. Yeah, especially you guys, man. Like really, you guys do a really good job with the community, man. I know everyone's asking this a gazillion times, but have you ever kind of really looked at the fact just how this community has embraced the Golden Knights? You know, what I mean, just kind of think about after the season you guys had, like just yeah. I mean, they love you guys, man. It seems. Yeah, the uh, the fans are amazing. I would never expected it when I came here in December. Um, I don't think really many people in the hockey world did, and just the unity of the of the city and the way they embraced us, it was really special this year. That's what we need, What's man. the offseason been like for you, man? Like, just try to stay off the ice as much as possible, let your feet get some rest, or you yeah, been out there? Yeah, I took a couple weeks off. We've done a couple vacations, and just just getting in the weight room and training, and we'll start skating here soon, just uh, like optional skates. So, yeah, you try to stay off the ice as much as you can. It was such a long season, and, and try to take care of your body in the weight room. On a normal day where you're not skating or doing anything, what are you doing? Are you just lifting weights in the gym? You running on the treadmill? Uh, yeah, our, our weight uh, coach uh, Doug, um, he puts us through. He has a program for us, so we're here here during the week training, and then it's nice just to have the afternoon and the evening with the family. So, just uh, my little one's walking around now, and so I'm chasing him around. And and uh, we've also done some some family trips and seen some family out out back east. How old's your kid? Thirteen months. Thirteen. Months. Yeah, so <laughs> he literally just started walking. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you, you're, you're obviously going to stay here in Vegas for most of the off season, I'm guessing. Yeah, for most of the off season, uh, it, it just makes it convenient having the family here and and getting ready for training camp. And it's such a short summer anyway. Mm -hmm. So getting to use that workout room is, is nice too, right? Now, if you go home, you got to find somewhere to go. Yeah, and then and then the ice too. They have ice here for us uh, mm -hmm. during the week now, starting up. And there's some other guys training, and I'm sure some guys will get out here early too. So. It's usually a good group of guys getting ready for training camp. How different is the workout when you're in the off season than it is during the season? Yeah, it's way harder. It takes your body a couple weeks to get used to, um, but that's anywhere you go. And then once you get in season, 
um, you're not working out as much because you're skating and, and playing so many games. So you try to take advantage of this time and get stronger and, and identify maybe your weaknesses and really work on them. Awesome.